12 o'clock now, guys. We put the fish down. Each. So, yeah. We've had enough. We're gonna pack up. Modifantine Nature Reserve. Oh, we can just take it out. Let's just put that down. Let's get it out there. Stay There's there. a Adida. Adida. <laughs> I hope you guys can hear that when the fish eagle screams he says it's a da. Good morning, we're standing here at Modderfontein, it's between Edenvale and Kempton Park, yeah. is that about correct? I've never fished here, it's absolutely a beautiful venue since you come in, it's only got 20 spots for fishing, it's a nature reserve, so we're going to fish here for the day. Uh, you all know Shamir Khan, they call him the Khan, and uh, welcome back, great to see you, you fish Stark Fontein, didn't invite me. Yeah, well it was unexpected, okay. but yeah. So yeah, we're going to see if we can catch any fish at Modernfontein, absolutely a beautiful venue and we'll try and keep you guys updated, obviously no keep nets, um, it's a nature reserve and we'll show you guys if we can catch any fish, it's my first time here My first time as well Okay, let's see if we can catch fish and try and keep a count of how many fish we catch, okay? Okay, let's if go If we catch any, good luck, cheers! Cheers! That's it guys, now this is time to get all my rods ready and my feed, uh, the competition feed from fish it's clean, you can always add something but you can never take it away and that's why we keep our feed clean. Um, I'm not going to make too much feed yet again, I'm going to make like a uh, half a bucket. I am going to throw a few balls, I've seen a fish turning here around about 25 meters, actually quite scary. From then, I stole this out of Shamir's box, mine is at home. Uh, the peanut powder from fish, I'm going to add again like a teaspoon. And I hide it away behind my box for Shamir not to get his own peanut powder. Just put it there. And then my little secret SA powder, SA powder green from fish. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to be very generous with that. And I'm just going to add, oh, on my hands as well. And I'm going to add that. What I did is I put it on with my dry feed. And it looks like that. Hopefully you guys can see. Then I mix up the dry feed. And with that SA powder green, you'll see. That SA powder is very sweet, especially this time of year. And then yes, there is fluoro in, so whenever you're throwing your water in, it is going to turn it greenish. And um, I'm just going to let my feed stand for a while. And just get my feed ready and then rig my baits. Hopefully we get this fish on the bite. Um, especially this time of year, wet feed, so I put quite a bit of water. As you can see, my, color, my discoloration of my feed has gone all yellow and I'm going to set up my lines and get all my baits in try and get the fish on the bite so that's that's what I'm going to do I'll show you my bait now okay guys so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fish one rod long my 12 foot rod I'm going to fish long and then my 10 foot rod I'm going to fish here on the 25 meter mark I see against the reason the other side's about say 130 if I go a little bit more to the left there's a lot of bigger fish showing so I'm going to be chasing bigger fish with my right hand rod and smaller fish with my left hand rod so what I'm going to do with my right hand rod is I'm going to put Jessica, Jessica is always a good thing this time of the year um, especially with a, with a spawn, I'm going to put Jessica on my bottom hook one small Jessica on my bottom hook and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a dot a dot is a toe that's ready that's ready to go so I'm going to put a dot here's the dots, the Jessica dots I'm going to put a Jessica dot behind it, but then I don't use the old dot, I just break off on the side, I break off a small piece, I work it through my fingers, and I'm going to put it as a backing, so hopefully I'll show you guys now what it looks like, I'm going to put a long backing at the end, I want to chase bigger fish with this one, so chasing bigger fish, I'm doing bigger bait, just get it nice and elongated. And then on my top hook, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to be running, I'm going to be running a, a powder bay soft float. Remember, the soft, the soft floats always had a has a yellow lid. Soft powder bay top. But then I'm going to do something different. I'm going to add a milky, a milky dot behind it. So here's the powder bay, putting that on the top hook, and then I'll be running. <laughs> 
then I'll be running a milky dot. So that is my rod that I'm chasing bigger fish. I'll show you guys then now what I'm gonna do with my with my shorter rod to chase the bigger fish or the small fish just to get the numbers there because you know Shamir is always fast out of the blocks. And there's my two baits. There's my two baits. Hopefully you guys can see here. Yeah? Whoa, let's do it this way. There's my two baits. One Jessica. Uh, one Jessica um, Uza with a with a dot backing. One powder bay with a milky backing dot. So yeah, now I'm gonna put my milli bomb and let's get this one in. Okay guys, now I've got my milli bomb on. Then I'm gonna fish by trace. That's a Nolky willy, it's with a with that powder bay. Uh, Uza that we put up, I'm just gonna put a little bit more, a lot of rain has fell, has fallen so um, with the Jessica. So I'm running Patrice Jessica, that's my combination. Shamir will show you his combination later. So nice and red and purple. You guys chose the purple of Jessica. Bye my pass. That's my first rod ready. I'm gonna chuck it so long and then I'll prepare my left hand rod and see if I can get those small ones to bite. Bye right, guys. <laughs> it looks like a fish, it smells like a fish, just very small. <laughs> yeah, the first one on the board, uh, two minutes for the bite, and that's to go on uh, Dalian. Dalian yeah. dub with. Uh... <laughs> okay, but listen, we, we usually start like this. Oh, there yeah. are rods going. We usually start like this. He gets, comes in with the first fish and the small one. Well, I'm also on that side. Well done, Shabir. Let's you can put tell it now what you caught it with. They were real funny. Right, guys, I caught this with Dalian on the bomb and uh, soft uh, banjo float. I'm quickly going to get this and help Andre. He's on. Okay, well, this is a great start. We chucked our lines in 7 o'clock. It's 3 minutes past 7. So, yeah. Um, two fish on the board these are our shallow rods uh, mine I did that para bay para bay uh, soft float with para bay on the bomb I didn't have a great start with my left hand small rod I chucked it and then my leader was just off well let's quickly land this one uh, if this is how our day is gonna go it's already two fish within three minutes so this dam actually has potential Ooh, yeah it is fighting a little bit Let's quickly land it and see what it what it looks like. <laughs> That's it guys, that Pata Bay Soft with Patrice on the bomb. Uh, beautiful little fish. <laughs> Two fish within three minutes, this is not too bad. Uh, hopefully our deeper rod is going to produce better. Who do you th I can't believe it, such a dam that we didn't know of, Mordor Fontaine Nature Reserve. I'm going to let this one go and see if we can't get the tempo up and how many fish. One each, one each, let's go. Andre just had a run as well, he, unfortunately his fish came off. But yeah, uh, 15 minutes, two fish, three fish, hopefully landed, one lost, let's see. Well the guys, this is the perfect venue for uh, kids to come and fish and for the families to come and spend time. Uh, we just arrived here, so many fish, I just chucked my rod, I already have another bite. The bite is within two minutes, the, the bites are on. Um, this is absolutely amazing. For a venue that's in the city, it doesn't feel like you're in the city. It's just such a beautiful venue. We'll try and show you guys what it looks like. This is absolutely amazing. This is one of the dams that I've never known about and uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Listen, Angry fish. <laughs> Angry. <laughs> this is some you seen, eight foot rod. Yeah, I love fishing my eight foot rod. It produced a lot of fish for me recently. Let's land this fish. Feels a bit better than the other one. But <laughs> let's see. This is a bit better. Ugh. That's it. This, at least we're reaching the kilo mark now. Um, Shamir will show you and we'll do his bait presentation now. Hopefully, oh, my rod's going. My right hand rod. Okay. Okay, guys, so this is a double up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, it's going to break me. Oh, whoa. Okay, so this is a double up. Um, Shamir is on with his small rod, and uh, my deeper rod just went. It's that Jessica one. Look at this. It's taking line. It almost broke me because I wasn't ready. Come stand here with me, Shamir. Okay, so Shamir is on. 
with these fish. Uh, what did you get that one on, Shami? This was on the banjo soft floats with the uh, Italian on the palm. Fishing it at, I think, 30 meters is too far. But yeah, I mean, it's producing the fish. We're going to slightly uh, release this and get Andre's one in. Guys, this is absolutely insane. Um, like we said, 20 minutes and 15 minutes drive from uh, from Centurion and Boxburg. And uh, it's just fish on, fish on. This is the perfect venue for the children to come and spend a day. The picnic areas, there's prize here. The venue is very clean. Um, it opens up at 6 o'clock. Unfortunately, you can't sleep over. No keep nets. This is only catch and release. And um, with what I've seen here so far, this is absolutely insane. I'm very impressed. I'm just going to land this fish. Check it taking line. Look at this. Okay, let's hope this is a bigger fish. My deeper rod is for bigger fish. So let's see if we can land this one and then we'll show you how our day progresses. That's it guys, a beautiful barbel. So now it is two fish for me, two for Shamir. I think weight wise I've got him because of this barbel. I'm going to let this little beaut go and get a deeper rod in. Um, there's a lot of barbel turning there so I'm going to try and keep it on that same spot, get a few bigger barbel and try and get some weight and maybe get a little bit of bigger cop. Let's get this one back and get the rods in again. Right guys, here's number four for me. We're really not waiting that long, between eight and ten minutes. I'm still fishing the same combo, the banjo soft floats with Talian on the palm. And there, Andre's rod is going ours as well. We're quickly going to let it go. Hey, getting a bit bigger, we're hoping for bigger fish, but we'll take them. Let's quickly put this guy back. That's it guys, the fish are really coming in thick and fast now. Picked it up with that powder bay with a little worm and then uh, a dot backing. I really put it far, I put it close to the reeds on the other side. And then my other rod went and Shamir is helping me. It's really going hectic here. Um, this, if he lands this fish on my rods, it's fish number seven already. Um, Shamir is on six. And um, now things are really starting to happen. I'm going to let this one go and then Shamir will show you the other one. It's not the biggest fish, really not the biggest fish, but it's a hell of a lot of fish and they at a fast pace. What I'm getting the fish on is that Patrice. Patrice is really coming through for me with a powder bay uh, soft float and this is exactly Patrice again with that soft. But this fish ran like a bomb. Let's quickly help him net it. Then Shamir will show you the fish while I'm rigging up my other rod. And you catch him up, huh? <laughs> well, guys, here's the fish. We're just going to unhook it. We're not really going to take it out. As you can see here, it's on the soft, the soft powder bay. And uh, yeah, yes, like these fish are coming fast in now. This is actually, wow, I can't believe this venue is so close to home. What, we are an hour? We're on seven and six. Seven and six. <laughs> yeah, I'll be to get number seven, or this one might count for you, then you're on seven and I'm on six. No, because we're friends, you can have it. <laughs> Is it? Well, yeah, let me just put this one back, nice little cop. Let's put it back and uh, get both my rods in again. It's becoming hard work now. It's actually becoming work. Look at this beautiful color of this fish. Nice, weird color, dark eyes. Beautiful fish. Well done, Shamir. Yeah. Guys, we're not going to show you all the fish we're catching. We're catching them in numbers now. We're going to start trying to chase bigger fish and see if there's any bigger fish here. Let's get these two back. Look at how, how the color difference between these two fish. How beautiful is that? Stunning. Let's get them back. Should have left it in the way. Well guys, I'm fighting my last fish. This is it. Will you get the net for me, please, Shami? <laughs> uh, probably over 40 fish each. And um, not very big. I tried for bigger fish and it was just bobble after bobble. And it's all of them in this size. It's a, it's a nice size uh, just to bring the kids to come and fish. And there it is. Oh, it's 12 o'clock now guys, we 40 fish down each, so yeah, we've had enough, we're gonna pack up Modifontaine Nature Reserve. Oh, we can just take that out. Let's just put that down. 
Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I hope you guys can hear that when the fish eagle screams he says it's a hardy da um, well, well this is the size fish and a little bit bigger we caught over 40 each yeah. what a lucky day my best combination Patrice with uh, with Parabay Uzers and um, that worked totally the best for me yeah. with a little bit of Jessica and you I started off this morning with uh, banjo soft floats and banjo on the palm and then I moved to sniper soft floats with sniper and I stuck through it. Yeah, at the end I moved to Bonnie and Clyde and Davis Drake yeah. and then I really started climbing into the fish. Just after 12 we're packing up, I have to get back to the office, you guys are keeping us busy, thank you for all the support. Thanks for all your support out there, fish is going well, we're very strong, we have more than enough floats, country wide, uh, there's no problem with the floats, we have stock. Uh, I know some of the other places are struggling with stock right now. Uh, we have more than enough and uh, we've been servicing the whole country for a very long time. Uh, hopefully we see you guys next week. Thanks Shamir for joining me. Mordelfontein, 20 minutes drive from my house, 15 minutes pleasure. from your house. And yeah, what a lucky angle session. And we're done here now. I'm going to go home and uh, 40 fish down. I don't have to <laughs> drive to Valdam or anything, anywhere. It's just here, yeah, there's a number of spaces that's only open. There's about 20 spots open. You get an angling license or a permit to fish. When you come on Saturdays, you really have to come early. Um, you don't have to cost 4, 10 foot rods. I played with my 12 foot rod. I went 140, 160. I only caught barbel. It's not worth it. 10 foot rods, 8 foot rods, then you'll smack the fish. Yeah, okay. I, I use my 8 foot rod also at that 30, 40 meter mark. The fish were there constantly bite. Bite rate was 5 minutes to 10 minutes. Yeah, thank you Andre. It's been a good day. Yeah, I'm, I'm going home now. I smell like fish. So yeah. <laughs> Let's, Let's go. go. Thanks my bud.